Hi friends, this is Lida. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the component life cycle hooks, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to check in practical how these life cycle hooks will work. Okay, now I will go to user component.ts. Okay, so this is the component what is I am having. So now what I will try to do is here I will try to execute console.log constructor called okay so i will use constructor called now in ng on init what i will try to do is i will try, i will i will print console.log ng on init called so let's see which one will be called first okay so constructor will be called first or ng on it as we already know constructor will be called first so constructor will be the first one which will be executing when the class is directly constructor will be the first one it will be executing then only after after that all the all the methods will be executing so now right now we will see which one is this so now if i try to check the output here if i refresh it here we are not able to see anything output why because our component user component has not been initialized when it will be initialized if we create a component here you will be getting initialized constructor call and integer it call so now the component new component has been created now we what we will try to do is so at first only we, are, we will try to add one username in the user component so something like what i will try to do is in the instead of keeping it as empty i will add one username so that at the first time what we will be what we will be having is one username will be having default fault now if i try to execute so username lila is there now here you will be able to see that constructor is called first and then after ng on init is called now so that means so we have called ng on init and also the constructor so now we will check the ng on changes so when this ng on changes will be executing so ng on changes i already told you that when it will execute so it will execute when we have what i can say when the input changes in the, in the input property or anything is changed right so now what i will try what i will try to do is so here i will try to write ng on changes okay so when we are doing the ng on changes we need to implement the on change interface on change on changes interface we need to implement so that will be imported from the angular core so we, it's the best practice to implement the all the interfaces where, wherever we are using these things so without imp implementing this interface also it will work but it is a best practices so now ng on changes so now i will try to print that console.log ng on changes called okay so now here i am writing that ng on changes is called now here ng on changes this is the only hook which will be taking one input parameter so if you see here this is the only one which will be taking the input parameter so now what is that input parameter is we will check that is the input parameter of type simple changes actually okay so it will be taking that simple changes so simple changes will be imported from the angular type so this is the type in the angular so that will be imported in the here so let's try to print the console.log that element okay now uh, as i already told you ng on changes what it will have it will have all the input property oh sorry we have written it here right so we are writing these all things in the user component.ts okay so now here i will try to paste this one so in this users component.ts i can remove this on changes okay so i can remove this on changes so that no problem comes and here i can use this comma on changes okay on changes and here simple changes we need to input it in the angular core automatically it will be imported okay so now ng on changes when it will execute whenever there is an input property okay all the input properties so is there so then it will execute so whenever the input property is changed Okay, whenever input is property is changed from there, so then ng on changes will execute. So now we will try to execute the output. So now if I try to execute the output, so now if I try to refresh, so here you see constructor is called first, then after ng on changes called, and we got the data what we are having. So right now we are having only one user in one only one input data that is username, and here you will be having that current value is Leela. Okay, first change is true. So that means it is the first time we we got the data. Yeah, it's the first time only we got the data. Why? Because component is initialized at that time only. And the previous value at that time, we don't have any previous value. And afterwards, ng on it is called. 
So now this is the NG on changes. So now let's try to check when this NG on changes called. For example, see now in this users component dot ts, uh, users component dot ts. So uh, I have a variable something like name. Okay, name is equal to. So I will write that uh, Leela name or something like that. I have a string. So now I will try to pass this name as an input to the users component. User component. So what I will try to do here. So name is equal to name. I will use this name. Okay. Now what is what I will try to do is I will try to add this user at the rate input. Okay. I will try to use this name as string. So fine. Okay. I I use this name as string. So fine. It's not a problem. It's correct. Now I will try to check the output. If I try to check the output. So it will refresh if I try to check the output here. Why this debugger has came? Okay, if I try to check the output here, I am having two input properties. Yeah, yes, correct. We are having user component. We are having two input properties. So if we check the name here, Leela name is there, and the previous value is undefined, and first change is true. Fine, correct. It's correct, and the user name is also correct. Now what I will try to do is I will try to change this name input from the users component so that here we need to trigger it ng on changes again. So now what I will try to do is here in the users component.html I will try to add a button. Okay, button class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary. And what I will try to do is uh, change name. Okay, so now here what I will try to do is I will add the click on name change or something like this. I will use. So now what I what I will do is I will write to implement this method in the users component.ts so that here I will change that name to this dot name is equal to I am changing the name. So Leela name is there that I will write a hi Leela name something like this. Now now when I click that button this name will be changed to hi Leela name. So that means in this user component this name variable is changing. So that immediately what it will do is in this user ng on changes will be fine. Why? Because this input property whichever is coming the name from the as input property to this component is changing so immediately that ng on changes will be fired so now if we try to check the output here so i will try to refresh i uh, refresh that code so now we are having this name and so username name and we are all those things we are having right now i will try to click on this one immediately see if you see here ng on changes has been fired okay i will um, ng on changes and if you check the output here you will be having name and if you check the output here current value is high Leela name so that is the thing we are changing and the previous value is the Leela name is there previously we are having Leela name right so that is the previous value and the first change is false yeah it's, it's not the first time it's changing it's changed to it's changed so first time when it's gone is true okay now it's got false so this is the this is the how ng on changes will be fired wherever whenever the input values will be changed immediately ng on changes will be fired so this is how constructor ng on changes ng on it will be executed. So uh, in the next video we will see remaining all the lifecycle hooks in the practical. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.